Hi everyone, it's Phil Sexton here at Hope Haven Farm. This is our research center where we like to study both uh, sustainable agriculture and sustainable waste management. Today I'm doing a study on a couple different things. One is surface temperature. So if we look over here, today's January 6th, right after winter storm Grace and the day after. And the relative humidity right now is about 31% and the ambient air temperature is uh, 6.4. Now something very interesting to look at here, I have sunglasses on because the wind chill is actually closer to minus 20. We felt the wind about 30, 40 miles an hour, so I apologize for any noise from the wind. Now if you look here, I have an infrared thermometer that's actually reading surface temperature anywhere between minus 14, 15 we have here. If we get over to the sun, We're closer to minus eight, minus nine. So I'm gonna do a quick little study on a product called Entry. It's a chloride-free product that we've been promoting the use for for our uh, chloride-free by 2023 certification. Okay, so we have this surface here. It's flagstone and a little bit of granite curbing. I just thought I'd try it on this surface. We were at about somewhere between minus four and minus six surface temperature here. So I thought I would just try it. Uh, it's been shoveled. There's a little bit of hard pack from uh, footsteps because we, we were a little bit delayed getting to this area. And you'll see there's actually some uh, a, a little bit of row of ice that I don't think that this is going to break up the ice necessarily, but it does seem to be uh, somewhat successful, at least melting off the remaining snow. Sort of keep in mind with these observations. Hi everyone, good morning. It's Sunday morning here at Hope Haven Farm again in upstate New York. So we're uh, looking again at the results of the non-chloride uh, product that we put down yesterday. I just want to point the uh, relative humidity again. It's about 31, so that hasn't changed much. And the temperature this morning though is minus 15.7, so minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go take a look at our results. Okay, first I just want to point out, we'll just zoom in, where we put the rock salt down that was treated with the magnesium chloride as well. That really hasn't done anything. It hasn't done anything at this point. So what I was really concerned with is that minus 16, is, is this product going to refreeze? And I was pleased to find out looks really good. So it's actually created a bit of a residual effect. Um, it did melt off a little bit more of the drifting snow. And then right over here at, these, uh, at this flagstone area, I was actually a little concerned that this was looking like freeze, but it's not. It's actually the residual. So it's actually sort of maintained itself in brine still. And it actually did break up a little bit of the ice trails that we noticed there yesterday. So in general, at minus 16, we're going to go back inside now because we're so cold, but at minus 16, it seems to be uh, holding its own. One last thing I'm just going to take a quick measurement on is, even though it's minus 16, we're measuring minus 34 degrees surface temperature approximately, minus 32, 34. So there's your result of this non-chloride product entry.